Hi, everybody, and good morning. Uh, we aren't doing a live stream this week, but I did want to record a little video really quickly uh, just to make sure that you're feeling okay about everything that's due this week. So we, as of Monday morning, are in now in weeks five and six. Hard to believe it, but we are uh, past the halfway point of our class uh, and our semester together. So week five and week six, everything is due by Sunday I almost said December, Sunday, February 18th at 11.59 p.m. Uh, so let me uh, go ahead and kind of go over quickly what we have going on for this week, right? So week number five, we're looking at the topics of motivation and emotion, which are both very like core topics to the field of psychology. So as always, you're going to want to do three things, right? Read the chapter in the ebook, read through the lecture, and then watch the lecture uh, video. Um, and you'll do that for chapter nine and chapter 10. As usual, you have two discussions uh, that are due this week. Uh, I'm recording this at home and my my kitten, look at, oh, he's so cute, just jumped up and started nibbling on me. So you get to meet him. This is a, we decided to name him Noodle. He is like eight weeks old and like absolutely adorably tiny. So um, yes. Hello. <laughs> All right. Anyway, back to this. Kitties are, are hard to compete with, right? Uh, so discussion nine and discussion 10 are related to chapters nine and 10. So for discussion number nine, as always, you have my instructions and my video. Uh, this one, kind of a, a lighter topic in the sense, uh, maybe a little bit of a pun there. We're looking at hunger and weight loss and fad diets. So um, for this one, you're going to pick a fad diet that you've either tried or maybe read about or heard about, or maybe someone in your family or someone you know has tried. And you're going to report the main components of that fad diet, how it works, what you were required to do or not do, uh, the timeline, just kind of giving me all that detail. And then you're going to report the main advantages and disadvantages of your diet. Another way of thinking about that might be the rewards and dangers. And then finally, what role do you think that the media, things like movies, um, television, music, magazines, and so on, play in contributing to the negative self-views that often accompany a desire to lose weight and or eating disorders such as anorexia and bulimia. So when you're ready, you'll hit reply. And then don't forget, of course, to reply to a classmate to get those two points. Um, for discussion number 10 here, let me click on that. This one is related to emotions. And as again, as a usual, you have my instructions and my video. Um, I also have a kind of a little bonus video in here, which I'll talk about in a moment. But with this one, what I want you to do is think of something that happened in your life, or you can even create a story if you'd rather, uh, where you had an emotional response to something. So what you're going to do is kind of give me a little bit of like a scenario and then tell me how you would have reacted from the James Lane theory, the Cannon Bard theory, and the Schachter Singer theory. So the chain of events that happened in order for you to get to your emotion. So if something happened, like from each of the three theories, what would be the order of events um, kind of like I spelled out in the lecture and in the textbook, uh, and you can write this or you can kind of use like a little graph if that makes it easier for you, but make sure you do it from all three theories. Uh, what are some ways to spot a lie? You can reference the lecture or even your own personal experiences, but be specific. And then just as like a for fun bonus, um, I made a little two truths and a lie video years ago, um, and I put it here. See if you would like to try and guess which one is the lie. This is totally just for fun between all of us. Uh, I'm an awful liar, uh, as I talked about in the lecture, uh, but I did practice and rehearse. So we'll see. Um, but see if you can guess and I will definitely reveal it uh, when I send out the feedback for these two weeks. There's also one other little thing uh, this week that's on here, and that is self-assessment number two, just an opportunity for you uh, to kind of think about how you're doing in the class so far. If you need to change anything now that we're at the halfway point, uh, give me a little bit of feedback. It is worth five points. So be sure to do that so that you can get those very easy points uh, for kind of reflecting on your progress in the class so far. And if you're watching this, you obviously found it here in the recording. Uh, I will post the extra credit question um, here above the video. So um, you'll have it posted there. If you'd like to go ahead and answer that for this week, uh, you're totally welcome to. Uh, I don't have it on me, but I think I remember it. So here, let me just, um, I'll say it here and then I will post it. 
But uh, what I'd like you to do is tell me what is the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation and give me an example of each. So what is the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation and give me an example of each. Um, and it can be something that you are intrinsically and extrinsically motivated for along with some definitions. And when you're ready to answer that, you'll click on optional switch extra credit number five. And then up at the top, um, you'll click on that button that says start assignment that's right here. And then you can, uh, as always, type your response and hit submit to get your confetti burst. And what's it going to be today? Thumbs up. Not super exciting, right? Um, confetti burst and thumbs up. So uh, please feel free to do that. Obviously, um, you don't have to have joined anything with Twitch this week. But do take a moment, if you can, and double check your subscription status since we're in week five. Remember that it's only good for 30 days, so I would imagine a lot of you fell off this week. If you could take this opportunity to renew it before we jump back in next week, that would be amazing. Otherwise, I hope you're all doing well, that you all are hanging in there with all the rain that we have had. We had a little bit of flooding in our patio, but thankfully nothing too major. So hopefully everyone is doing well. Hang in there, take care of yourselves, and I will see you next week for our week number six Twitch live stream. And of course, feel free to email me if you do think of any questions uh, for everything this week. But take care. Thank you. Oh, wait, here. Noodle will say goodbye again. Bye. And uh, I'll see you all next, next week.